<laughs> oh, sorry. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a another tutorial coding video. Today in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make commands. And I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but let's get right into it. So, you know, the usual uh, project name, tutorial, tutorial 3 commands. Commands. There we go. Then, of course, we have to implement our spigot API and create our main class and package. So, com dot contra thirty three dot tutorial commands. Okay, so now we do want to do extends Java plugin. If I can spell, shoot. <laughs> if I can spell it right, anything right today, implements the center. Boom. Public void on innate enable. This uh, of course, it has to load first. It's dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. This this then public public void on disable. There we go. And if you hear my dog screeching in the background, just ignore it. J just ignore it. So, what we're also going to, what I'm also going to teach you is how to make an array list, or just a list in general. So you want to do an array list, and then we're going to do a string. And then, kit equals new. And we copy this, paste it over here, put those things right there, and implement with Control Shift O, and boom. So now we we added a, we we've added a array list of strings. Now we're going to do public void initial initial. Well, I'm gonna make sure I spelled that correctly. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. I, I, it looks like I think I spelled it correctly, and then I also added static to it. So what we're gonna do is, kids, have to be. It's a public array list. My bad. Public array list. Kit stop. Ugh. Public boy. Let's see if that works. Dude. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna, and then for the kit, we're just gonna do Apple as an example. So. <laughs> there we go. So that so that right there is is gonna be um one of our kits. Well actually it's gonna be our own kit. And then we're gonna do public void kit player. And we're gonna do player p then string kit. Then we implement player with control shift O. Then we're gonna do if Kit dot equals. Well, actually, wait. Kit dot. We're actually going to do this. Two lowercase dot equals apple. Then we're going to get. We're going to do p dot get inventory dot add item 
new item stack material dot apple <coughs> sorry <laughs> okay and then there we go and then if you wanted to do it something and then if you were to add something like every time say if you want to do kippy p you would you said you say you didn't want to copy and paste some code for to give mushroom stew well then you can just then you can just do it a couple times down here and then it'll give them that many items so yeah and also if you want to clear their inventory you can do pwget inventory dot clear or yeah you can do that <laughs> so there we go mm, yeah that's it for the kits okay now we're gonna actually gonna do the command part the Probably the part that you wanted, that you've been waiting for. Both boolean on command, command sender, sender, command cmd, string label, string arcs. If I'm not lazy, then I will add this in the description. Like that entire thing of code. Then we need to add return turn true to the bottom there we go so now we want to do if cmd that get name that equals ignore case we're gonna do kit there we go and now we're gonna say if args dot length equals equals oops zero we're just gonna send them a message i forgot we also need it add player so this is how you do the player p thing we're gonna do player p equals in parentheses player and then next to it sender like that then that adds the player so or if you if you want if i mean this doesn't do as much but you can just do sender dot but that doesn't give as as many options, I guess. So p dot send message chat color dot we're just gonna do red, and that should auto implement a color API from. Oops. So now we're gonna do please do slash kit name. Then we're going to do return true. So now we want to do if kits.contains. Well, it wait. We're going to do it. Wait. This is also how you do does not. You just do. And then you just do exclamation point. So if kits does not contain arg0. Args zero, which would be the thing after slash kit dot, and then we're just going to dot two lowercase. We're going to do p dot send message chat col color dot red plus the kit plus args zero plus. The kit and then and the the string after slash kit does not exist. And we're gonna add a return. Turn true. Okay, now we're gonna do kit. Now we're just gonna do kit or we're gonna do we'll do this dot kit player p and and then we can do args zero dot two lowercase, and that should work if I'm not mistaken, because it will put it down to lower. It'll put it down to lowercase. If it's not there, then it, if it's not in this list, then it will stop. Then it will stop it right at this if statement. 
and then if and if it if there is such thing as that kit, then it'll be right here. Also, I do not know how to make a create kit command, so do not, please do not ask me that in the comments. I've been trying to work on that. I just don't. I just can't do it for some reason. Anyways, now we need to do a, the plugin that one, which is different from the other um, from the other plugin that one else. I mean, it's the same thing. Tutorial commands. We'll just name it that. Version 1.0 main com dot cilantro 33 dot tutorial commands dot main description this is a tutorial and then you can also do author the viewer because because you guys are going to be making this so now what you want to do is command command then five spaces then the command so kit then another five spaces then you're gonna do usage slash in these um greater or less than signs do command and then you can do the arg zero which is kit then we can also you do a, like a shorter thing which is called aliasis I don't actually know how to pronounce that so yeah we're just gonna do k then description gives the player a kit and then there we go and then you have to ex and then you have to export to your server which I don't know if you have a, a local host server or a internet or like a, like a internet service hosts it for you like um, MC Pro hosting or some something along those lines but I'll see you guys when this is on my server okay guys so I added it to my server. I got. I finally was able to create a local host server. So there we go. Tor tutorial commands, right there. So let's just start this up. So. So. Oh wait. There's also something else I wanted to. Sh uh, I sh probably actually show you guys. Um, well, this is loading. Yeah, see, okay. What, something else we should actually do is, if, if this does not, so we're just going to do if, and then exclamation point, and then another parentheses. We're going to do send if sender instance of player so if the sender isn't a player then we're just going to p dot send well this probably actually wouldn't work we'll just do this wait sys <clears throat> system dot print oops <laughs> just doing all sorts of System out dot print. Just gonna do this. Um, only players can use this command. I'm pretty sure that's how. I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. If it's not, then I'm so I'm so sorry. But we'll just we'll just export export this again and. I'll I'll show you. I'll, I'll test it. If it if it works, then then I'll show you guys. But if it doesn't, then I'll fix it and show you guys that. Okay, guys. So so I'm on the console for this. Then we're just gonna do in in console. You don't have to do any slashes. So kit. Yeah, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It did. Doesn't look like it printed out anything. But oh well. Uh. But I will be, I will be in, I will go on, I'm going to go into Minecraft now and show you guys 
that it works. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm on Minecraft. Direct connect. And then to connect to a local host server, you just have to type in local host. Or you can type in your IP. But, you know. Local host is probably easier to type in. Yeah. I'm not whitelisted on the server. Oh wait, this is my brother's account. Oh, well, still work. There we go. That should whitelist me. That edit. That whitelist. Oh, killer. Button. Oh. Hmm. Do I have to do I have to just go and look into the files and do this? Uh I'll bear it back. Okay guys, I'm I'm back on my account. Now we should be whitelist on the server. Um. Oh, never mind. Just lagging a ton. Uh, for some reason on this, uh, it it takes a while for it to actually, you know, load up. Okay, there we go. Or for me to actually use <laughs> commands properly. It's probably not helping that I have a ton of tabs open. <laughs> And switch my game. You know you want to. Well, please. Oh, I timed out. Just log back in real quick. Okay, let the server load a little bit. Okay, guys, I'll be right back when the server actually decides to respond. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, it, okay, it started to work, so if we do slash kit, it does slash kit name. So if we do blah blah blah, the kit blah 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 does not exist. So now if we do kit apple, Kit Apple apparently doesn't mean. What do we? What did we do wrong? Here, let's do if args. Oops, if args zero dot equals ignore case. We'll just do kit player p apple. Also, if you didn't know, you didn't actually have to um put parentheses around this if you only want to do like one line of code, but just something. Okay, now Eclipse isn't responding. Great. Actually, we need to just do we need to do um. This apple. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna export kit apple. <laughs> Why? Why you got not work? Not. I'm. I'm done. Gonna <sighs> reload. K. 
Just an apple. There we go. There we go. Now you can add stuff from the last video, from the last video to to, to these kits. But well, that's pretty much it for commands. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. It took a while to get this right, but you know it's worth it. We got an apple. This is this is oh, this is awesome. Really OP, you know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Why you know work? Why you know work? Screencast-o-matic.